Hello and welcome to ChemCam. Today we'll be doing the bicarbonate of soda and vinegar volcano. Yay! Now, what you will need. Firstly, a volcano. Now, you could either buy a prefabricated one from somewhere like the pound shop, or you could make your own out of a yoghurt pot. You will also need some vinegar. Now, I'm not going to be using vinegar today. Instead, I'm going to be using dried citric acid, because they are both acids, and so the reaction will work just as well. I'm also going to be using some baking soda. This is in dried form, and I've added some red food dye to make the reaction look like lava. So, what you do is, firstly, add your baking soda. That You should add about a teaspoonful, or maybe even two if you want your reaction to be even bigger. Now add your food colouring at this stage if you want it, or you could buy some that already has some food colouring in it. Next, add your vinegar. Now, because mine is all in dried form, the reaction isn't taking place yet. That is, until I add some water. And big reaction. Great! Now, the reason this is happening is because when the baking soda reacts with the vinegar, which is an acid, and the baking soda is an alkali, the two combine to create sodium citrate, carbon dioxide and water. The bubbles that you can see are carbon dioxide bubbles that are coming to the surface and then overflowing. So, I hope that you've enjoyed today's ChemCam. See you next week.